In this video, we're going to introduce the substitution method for solving a system of linear equations. This is one of two methods which we're going to introduce. Elimination will be introduced into the next one. So the substitution method works in the following way. You're going to solve one of the equations for one of the variables present. So for example, you would take one of your equations in the linear system, like say this one down here, and you're going to be like, oh, I'm going to choose one of the variables in one of the equations, I'm gonna solve for that. So maybe you choose y in the first equation. When you do that, you'll transform the equation into y is equal to one minus two x. So you solve for one of the variables. Now it doesn't really matter which variable and which equation you choose. You just have to make a choice. Personally, I like to choose uh, equations where the coefficient if a variable is plus or minus one. That way I don't have to do any multiplication or division. It just seems like a little bit more, a little bit less arithmetic. Uh, so that's why I would choose y in the first equation for this system, but you could get away with doing with any of them, right? I'm trying to avoid fractions um, if possible, because I know that's gonna kind of bog down my arithmetic a little bit more. So you choose one equation and one of the variables and you solve for it. Then step two is that you're gonna substitute this expression into the other equation. Because after all, we've now solved for y. We know y is the same thing as one minus two x. So we can take this expression right here, this y equals one minus two x, and we can substitute this into the other equation for y. And when we do that, we'll end up with three x plus four. Well, instead of y, I'm gonna write one minus two x equals 14. And this is why the substitution method gets its name. You're substituting out one of the variables with an expression from the other. And so then, once you've done this substitution, you'll notice that our equation only depends on x now. The variable y has been removed uh, from the equation, substituted out of it. So then we're going to proceed to solve for x in this situation. Distribute the 4 right here. We get 3x plus 4 minus 8x equals 14, combine some like terms. We get a 3x minus an 8x. It's gonna give us a negative 5x. This is a plus four is equal to 14. I'm then gonna subtract four from both sides. The four on the left is gonna cancel out. We then get negative 5x is equal to 10. And then to finish off, divide by negative five, because it'll cancel on the right. And we should then have that x equals negative two. This gives us a partial solution because uh, we now know the x-coordinate. What do we do to find the y-coordinate? Well, once you've determined the assignment of one of the variables, you're going to substitute this back into the other expression, right? Uh, we're going to plug this value of x minus 2 into the first equation. But better yet, we're going to plug it into this expression right here. Because after all, we already have y equals something in terms of x. If you plug in the known x value, we're going to see that y is equal to 1 minus 2x, but x is negative 2. And so we get 1 plus 4, which is equal to 5. And therefore, the solution to this linear system is going to be negative 2 comma 5. And we can check that this is, in fact, the real, the real deal here, right? Looking at the first equation, if you plug in negative 2 for x and 5 for y, we're going to get two times negative two, which is a negative four plus a five. That adds up to be one. So it works with the first equation. Looking at the second equation, right? Three times negative two is a negative six. Uh, four times five is a 20. 20 take away six is 14. We found the solution. And this illustrates how one can find the solution of a two by two linear system using the substitution method.